In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use a simple glass spacer. This is EconoLine Spacer. Um, great, great system for not having your artwork touch your frame. I'm sorry, touch your acrylic. Um, basically what I'm showing you here is I have, it comes in black and it comes in clear. It always has this, this peeling, this piece like sticker that you peel off of either side. So you just decide which is going to look better with your image, either a clear one or a black one. And then it comes in, we sell it in three different sizes. We sell it in one sixteenth, one eighth, and one quarter. This is a one eighth, this is a one quarter. So the one I've chose on this for this one is my uh, clear spacers. And I just have some remnants. When you purchase it from us, you'll probably get it in five foot lengths and you may have some leftovers basically what I do put the glass or the acrylic into the frame with the protective coating off of it and get it all ready to go just having it in there um, I like to have it clean and really try to do my best to not touch it and put fingerprints on it when I do this so I start by just laying this first piece in here and then I'm going to cut this spacer right to the exact width and I actually just cut right on my frame right there. You can have it off if you want, um, but I know that's gonna fit in there. Um, and then I just kind of get my fingernail underneath here and I peel that off. Then I basically just stick this thing right down to the edge of the plexiglass or acrylic. So, one thing to note is sometimes, because there's different allowances with glass and acrylic inside of frames, I like to make sure that the glass is all the way down at one side right now, um, kind of on what I'll probably have on the bottom of my picture. So this will end up being the bottom, and I touch this piece of uh, spacer to the frame itself, and I make sure that I don't see any of it, you know, past the lip of the frame on this side because I don't want to see that spacer in there of course. So I have that first one in there and then I go around to the second one and I bump it up to the to the edge of that spacer that's already in there and I make a notch right here to cut and I cut that one. All I'm doing is using a, a sharp razor blade. Um, the sharper the better and then just be careful not to cut yourself with it. Peel that off of there and go ahead and put that in and basically what you can see is I'm just working around in a circle around this frame putting the spacers in here, being cautious, like I said, to not touch the acrylic with my fingers, put fingerprints on it, and do this third one, get my mark there and cut that one. Peel the paper again, kind of redundant, got to do it four times. Well, I'm going to skip that. You could peel that part off, but I got a little gap there. But for the video, I'm just going to continue. Put that one in. Push it down. My last piece. This one is a little the trickiest one because I got to eyeball this. So I have it touching over here. And then I'm going to eyeball down to where that one is down there. Cut that fourth one. Get my peel off. And the example I have to show you is one that already has a mat on it. Um, lots of times you don't use this product when you have a mat. I just happen to have this for my example. Um, a lot of times when you use this product is when you just have a poster or a watercolor. I must have had some old spacer here or something. It's not wanting to peel off for me all the way. At any rate, you use it for on, on like fine art when you don't want that to touch the glass, basically. So ignore the fact that I have a mat on my piece. Um, it, lots of times it would just be a poster. But at any rate, I have my piece that I'm going to put in here, and I would kind of blow that out if I had an air compressor or get the debris that it might have fallen in there out. And then basically you just take your work and set it in on top of those spacers. And once again, I would find where my bottom was to where that sat down on the side that I thought was my bottom. And I would push this all the way to one end, and I'd kind of look at it, holding it in from the back. So I'm just holding it in right now. And I would see that I have... Uh, no spacer showing. If for some reason it had shifted, you can almost kind of just work it over and kind of work it one direction and see if it uh, can move and not have that spacer. So then when you lock it in, you know, it's maybe it's shifted all the way, but when you put your um, 
push point glaziers in here or whatever it is you have that we've sent you to hold this in or you have a point driver that you've purchased from us or you own your own then you can put that in there nice and tight and keep that over one direction if you have to and hold that in there and now you have glass spacers that are not allowing that right now mat to touch that acrylic um, and just lastly, I'll kind of tell you why you want to do that. Glass spacers are there really so, like we talked about, the, the face of your art doesn't come in contact with glass or acrylic. Over time, especially with glass, you can get condensation like on a photo or on an original that will ruin your art. So it's always a good idea to either use a mat or to use a spacer to not have your artwork come in contact with that glass or acrylic. And if you had to choose between the two where you weren't, you were going to have your artwork touch glazing, so you'll get less condensation with it touching acrylic than you will with your artwork touching glass.